guys, it's Natalia. Welcome back to Glossy Confidential. I'm here today to share with you my favorite products of May. I have got various different things here. Eyeshadows, more eyeshadows, more eyeshadows. More, can you tell I like eyeshadows? And um, yeah, various things here. So I'm going to jump into it. There's a fair few things here to cover off and I don't want this video to be way longer than it should be. So first of all, I'm going to talk about these and just a reminder that I have got a current giveaway on my channel. You can win all three of the Visart, oops, that one's turned around, the Visart Color Theory Palette. We have got Minx, Cashmere and Chroma. So this one in particular is my favourite, Minx, which is the warmer one. It's like a cute little package like this. You pull it open, there's no mirror, there's no crazy ridiculous stuff you don't need. It is just a six eyeshadow pan from Visart. Their eyeshadows are to die for. Their mattes are intense, beautiful, amazing pigmented, creamy, blendable. They're some of the best eyeshadows on the market, if you ask me. Um, so this one is one of, I'm gonna mention my favorites, Minx. You've got these beautiful warm shades. You've got a cream, a mid-tone brown, a beautiful warm chocolate brown, and then you've got these three shimmers. This one in particular, this bronze, like, let's just... Hello. <gasps> I love this. I just want, I literally could just rub this all over my body. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to show you this brown one here as well. Like, they're just stunning. Stunning eyeshadows. The eyeshadow palettes are amazing. They're really affordable as well. They're only 50 something dollars, I think, um, to get six eyeshadows. They also pop out as well, so it's great for traveling. You can sort of interchange them between the three color theory palettes if you wanted to, um, but I love this one. I've worn this one so many times over the last month. It's just absolutely stunning. I, I love it. Love it to death. So that one is the Minx palette. I will just show you the other ones so you know what you can win. The other one is Cashmere, which looks like this, a beautiful, beautiful neutral color, a bit more on the cooler tones. You got Topiz, you got a few warm shades, beautiful brown transition shades and then the last one is chroma which is this stunning smoky eye sort of palette this matte shade here is beautiful it's not black it's like a dark 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 charcoaly brown kind of shade like and so as I said you can win all three of these palettes one person will win all three of these palettes in my giveaway I'm gonna have the giveaway information linked up here and in the description box down below don't forget to go and enter that one it runs out on the 20th of June so get on there you've only got a few weeks left to have a chance to win them but minx for sure hands down is my favorite one of them I love it I would I would die that's one I'd have to repurchase if I ever lost it or if I was running out of a shade is stunning absolutely stunning moving on to more eyeshadows let's just get all the eyeshadows out of the way shall we I have fallen in love with the Manny MUA eyeshadow palette I know I'm late to the party well I'm not really late to the party I ordered it when it was released and there was a few issues with shipping and delaying and then it got lost so then by the time I got it I was actually completely over the eyeshadow palette but this is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I started playing with it and now that I'm playing with it and I'm looking at it can see the beauty in this eyeshadow palette this shade here Sora is amazing like it is stunning makeup geek need to put that one as a permanent one in their line as well as Aphrodite down here oh my god I've just filmed this tutorial so that will be coming up as well so keep an eye out for that I just love the eyeshadow palette this is a palette that I could easily just go and travel with easy if you like warm smoky eyes you would love this these four here amazing perfect for my crease I don't need any other shade in the world and you just got these pops of color as well I think the whole palette is put together really really nicely and I am actually glad that I have finally dug into it and used that palette. The next one I'm going to mention is one of my Natasha Denona palettes. I haven't actually used the purple blue one yet. I am going to be filming a tu two tutorials coming up to a collaboration with Kat who also got this one but this eyeshadow palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. It's used. You can tell it's well used. The matte shadows, not so much. They're not the best matte shadows, but I prefer Visor, to be perfectly honest, or Makeup Forever. But these shimmer shades in here are just gorgeous. Some of them can be a little bit crumbly, but they're just, they've got duochromes in here that will just blow your mind. Her metallic shades here are some of the best ones I have ever tried. Um, they remind me a little bit like the Makeup Geek foiled pigments, foiled eyeshadows, but I feel like these ones have got a little bit more of a metallic punch to it than the Makeup Geek ones. I love it. It's fun. I've been using it so much. I really, I'm so glad I brought that for myself. Yay! Best birthday present ever. Okay. Foundation. I'm going to talk about the custom cover, cover FX custom cover drops. I 
have been using the golden one for a few months now um g70 i've been using that one to basically just add a little bit of warmth to my foundation for me i in my winter in winter i go from one extreme and then in summer i go incredibly incredibly dark and if i'll have a look over some of my videos in the summer months you will see how dark i go like it is dark chocolate golden tan shade that's that's the level of my skin changes throughout the year so i've got a uh, Makeup Forever foundation which is sort of right in the middle and then for me to go a bit darker um, Then I will actually add the custom cover drops and I have used that today the combination today with this foundation and I did a flawless foundation routine where I showed you that and I also did it in today's tutorial So you will see that I'm um, demonstrated But um, for me this one is a little bit too dark and a little bit too orange just to wear on its own And then G60 is the one that I did get because it's slightly less orange and a slightly darker so I've actually been mixing these two together with just a face oil I've been using the Josie Marin argan oil and I used two pumps of this with that oil and I applied it with a foundation and the coverage it gets is amazing the texture is amazing it stays on forever and because you're using a face oil it is just really hydrating my skin and for me who's someone who's really really dry in these cooler months I go flaky I go from dry to flaky like that so the fact that I used a face oil mixed in with my foundation made my a whole lot of difference to my skin and I noticed a lot I'm actually really loving them I'm going to be doing a demonstration and review of these ones in the next week or so as well so keep an eye out for that I really am loving that they're also coming out with illuminating ones bronzing ones and they, um, they've also coming out with a mattifying face oil to mix these with um, if you that's something that interests you as well if you're quite oily so cover effects do these drop things amazing I think they were the first ones to do it I don't think anyone has actually managed to match cover effects quality for their drop system I get all my cover effects from PM studios here in Australia they ship nationally websites amazing and they're actually a lot cheaper than Sephora from what I have read seen people People are talking about it as well so go and check out PM Studios for your cover FX needs they will sort you out okay um, not sponsored I just wanted to say that <laughs> blushes I've been loving matte blushes um, so for me my favorite matte blushes by far are the Tarte ones I use these Tarte palettes that I get from Christmas every Christmas Tarte comes out with a blush palette do yourself a favor and just get one you will never need another blush palette again this is one from two years ago now I think this is the off like this one last year's was a black sparkly one I just love it because they're matte I love matte blushes I prefer to use matte blushes and then add the highlight where I want to and I think that's really important as your skin does get more mature mattes are your friends matte products are your friends because it doesn't accentuate any pores fine lines wrinkles anything that you are trying to hide and cream highlighters is your other fresh um, I've just ordered all the makeup geek blushes well, and most of her blushes are going to be matte so I've ordered all of them so we're gonna see how they go when they arrive but at the moment I'm loving these tart ones for highlighter though I've been using two different highlighters the makeup the benefit what's up this is a cream highlighter this is one of my favorite cream highlighters in the market I absolutely love it it is in a stick form which is something I don't like I feel like it's too annoying to apply but it is absolutely stunning this beautiful kind of champagne color the thing with cream highlighters I find is if you are getting using a powder highlighter and you're getting those textural things you're getting the dots appearing it's accentuating lines accentuating things you want to hide don't use a powder use a cream because the cream sort of blends in with the skin while adding the highlight whereas I find a lot of powders sit on top speaking of powders I still do use powders because I love them and I'm obsessed with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Palette I love this this is what I'm wearing today it's what I've pretty much worn in every one of my videos for the last two months since I've had it um, I love it I mix these two together these are two shimmery ones this is like a matte highlighter I don't understand matte highlighters you're supposed to maybe set under your eye but it just looks too powdery and chalky on me I would rather just have this one extra and this one extra and have two massive amazing highlights you've got a pinky sort of based one and a gold goldy base there's a pinky one and a goldy one I think this one's probably more pink than that one although now it's looking more pink either way I mix them together it's what I'm wearing today BAM highlighter I absolutely love it Tarte have done such an amazing job with this highlighter palette two eyeliner pencils that I have pretty much used all month these are both from Makeup Geek I have got espresso and I have got spice espresso is a warm chocolate brown and spice is a cooler brown um, depending on my eye look I'm wearing espresso today in the inner in a, in a 
waterline on my bottom lash line. I didn't want to use black. Black can be too intense, so I wanted to use a dark brown. Really beautiful. That's what that one looks like. Occasionally when I'm using an eyeliner like underneath my lower lash line, I want it to be a cool brown because I sort of want that to counteract the warm, the warmth that I usually use on the top of my lashes. And so for that I've been using Spice. Spice is that one there, so you can see warm, cool. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this one for smudging underneath my lower lash line. I just love it. I think it's such a beautiful color, and I think these two in particular are probably my favorite ones. That okay, are. speaking of Makeup Geek, I have got these two Makeup Geek eyeshadow brushes. Now, these to me are the biggest surprise. I tried the old Makeup Geek brushes, and I wasn't a fan. For that reason, I haven't wanted to try these ones. I've wanted to try them, but I've never gone out of my way to try them. With the Manny palette, because there was such a screw up with my packaging and and it just didn't arrive and then you know I had to wait literally six weeks until I emailed them saying hey what the hell's going on I've waited long enough I'm starting to get impatient now and in the package with that they had actually sent me these two brushes complimentary to say look really sorry for your fuck up um, didn't use those words but we really I hope you enjoy these brushes to go with your palette and I thought that was one really really sweet two I was really happy because I haven't got any makeup geek brushes these brushes are so good for cheap, affordable brushes. Admittedly, they're not as soft as Ray Morris. Ray Morris, nothing is as soft as Ray Morris. Ray Morris is like running silk over your eyelids. These ones are not as scratchy as a lot of the other cheaper makeup eye, eye, eye brush brands out there. For me, having soft eye brushes is the most important thing. Skin around your eye is the most delicate skin on your body, so you don't want harsh brushes. These ones aren't harsh. They blend nicely, they feel soft, and they're affordable. I'm really surprised at how good these brushes are. The ones I've got are the Soft Dome brush, which is this bigger one, and the Defined Crease brush, which is this smaller one here. I love them both. I cannot believe that I haven't tried these. I'm waiting for the brush eye brush kit to go to get restocked, and I'm gonna be ordering that one, as well as the face brushes, so I'm gonna be doing a full review on the Makeup Geek brushes coming up when I get them. So Makeup Geek brushes, two thumbs up for them. If you are looking for good, affordable, quality eye brushes, look up Makeup Geek. All right, I'm gonna have everything linked where you can get things down below. The last thing I'm gonna mention is my perfume, and this is, I mentioned it before, but I've just started using it again. This is the Juliet Has A Gun. I applied this one recently, and it just reminded me how much I love it. I love this. This is not cheap in any means. This is like one of your expensive -er ones. The bottle is stunning. It is me. Everything about this is me. I love, it's edgy. I love the packaging. I love the name, Juliet Has A Gun. It's just gorgeous. This is the Miss Charming scent. Oh, it's just one of those beautiful, deep, complex scents, really sexy, sophisticated scent to it. I, I love it. I mean, what does it say? What are the notes? Um, aqua, citral, citronello, something, 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 lemon and something. That's not English. It's not that I can't read. If I'm going out at night, date night, I'll wear that scent. I just love it. And it lingers so nicely. It's now becoming more, more really available. Uh, Maya, David Jones, and Sephora also stock this one. Much cheaper at Maya and David Jones. However, I think that's it. That wraps up my... Oh, no, one more thing. Parian Spirit. If you want something that cleans makeup brushes, this is a new bottle. I got a new bottle of this one. This one is 950 mils, a giant bottle. This is a professional makeup brush cleaner. This is intense like this is intense if you have got a cream product that you use on a brush and it's dried you need to get this pour it into a little container dip your brush in it dissolves everything and then just clean it off um, this one is something that you can keep in a spray bottle to spray your brushes for spot cleaning you can dip your brushes in to just really break down any cream product or just enough parian spirit into a glass jar to cover bristles of brush swirl brush till clean dry with a paper towel or terry cloth um, size, type of bristles and humidity affects drying time. Make sure the brush is completely dry before reusing. That is important. Completely dry before you reuse this. On larger brushes, use Parian Spirit Sprayer. So put it in a spray pump um, for faster drying time. For disinfecting, leave brush in Parian Spirit for one minute. This stuff is intense. It is this environmentally safe, revolutionary product cleans, conditions, and disinfects your brushes after use with makeup and or adhesives. Contains citrus-based spirits. This smells like oranges, like it smells like, oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. I really shouldn't be sitting here sniffing this because this is highly toxic, highly potent, highly chemically and alcoholy. This stuff cleans your shit. If you think your brushes are clean, 
get this dip your brush in there and this will show you what clean brushes are cannot rave about this enough if you are a professional makeup artist you need to get parry and spirit anytime i want to clean my brushes well with clients this is what I will use. I think that whole bottle was probably around the $70 mark, but it is worth every cent. It is amazing. Your brushes will be clean like you have never cleaned before. Right, so that wraps up my favorites for the month of May. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what favorite products you have been using. Leave a comment in the comment bar down below. If you'd like to see more in-depth reviews of anything, as always, let me know. Everything I mentioned will be in the description box if you want to know where to get all of these things I'm gonna have a blog post and that's gonna have links to everything that I have mentioned in here so you can go and go onto there and click all the links and stuff and that will take you everywhere I try to do all my research for you I try to make it a lot easier for you to find these things if you are wanting to so all the links and everything are in that blog post go and check out my blog glossyconfidential.com.au all details are there don't forget my giveaway don't forget to follow me on all my social media I've, I've got Instagram Facebook chat chat snap <laughs> <laughs> chat snap what is it snapchat and twitter all links are in the description box down below go and check it out thank you so much for watching i hope you uh, i hope you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up if you like it hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos and i will talk to you soon bye